The Las Vegas Raiders this year, in my opinion, are going to be the worst team in the AFC West this season. You got the worst quarterback room pretty much in the whole entire NFL. Aiden O'Connell is going to be the backup to Gardner Minshew, but you're most likely going to see both of these guys getting time at QB1 this year. Gardner Minshew isn't going to give you consistent enough quarterback play to remain the starter for the entirety of the season. So you're going to have to put Aiden O'Connell in there at some point to give you somewhat of a spark. But the Raiders' biggest need going into the start of this offseason was quarterback. And they didn't address that. And at this point now, you should be eyeing whoever's going to be the top quarterback prospect in next year's draft. Rather it be Carson Beck or Shadur Sanders. And I think that it makes a lot of sense in the world for the Raiders just to tank this year. You're not going to go that far. You won eight games last year because you were able to get fortunate enough to be the few backup quarterbacks and get lucky on Christmas Day against the Kansas City Chiefs with Antonio Pierce. And I love Antonio Pierce. But with him being a defensive-minded coach, not knowing too much about offense, he's not going to be able to get good quarterback play out of Aiden O'Connell or Gardner Minshew. When you have an offensive-minded coach as your head coach, then you have a higher chance of being able to overcome the limitations that you may have at quarterback. Shane Steichen was the sole reason why Gardner Minshew looked serviceable last year. This is the same person who couldn't even beat out Anthony Richardson last year, and Anthony Richardson wasn't even expected to start in most people's eyes. He's on his fourth team in the five seasons that he's played in the NFL. Does that sound like a good quarterback to you? No. He is the new generation's Ryan Fitzpatrick. He's good enough to give you a spark. Maybe he'll play at a high level for maybe a game or two, but you're not going to get consistent enough quarterback play out of Gardner Minshew to have a shot at being able to be relevant this year. The Raiders might as well go ahead and tank for Shadur Sanders, get their franchise quarterback, and put themselves in a position that next season, they actually are going to have a legitimate chance of being a playoff team. You see, what has held the Raiders back is that they haven't had elite quarterback play. When has this franchise ever had an elite quarterback? What, like the early 70s, 80s? I can't remember. I've been alive for 22 years, and I've never thought that the Raiders have ever had a great quarterback. Derek Carr was good, not great. And if you're ever going to be able to win the AFC West with Patrick Mahomes, now you got to face off against Jim Harbaugh and Justin Herbert, Sean Payton, and Bo Nix if he ends up working out, you got to have your quarterback. And with you potentially tanking for Shadur Sanders, you're going to have somebody that's going to be a perfect fit for you. Culture-wise, Shadur Sanders fits the Raiders perfectly because the Raiders are considered to be one of the most hated teams in the NFL. Shadur Sanders is one of the most hated quarterbacks in the history of college football. He also has great swagger about himself that the Raiders like. One thing about the Raiders that I always think about is swag. They always have players that stood out because of their swagger. They had unique personalities. Shadur Sanders checks the, checks the box when it comes to everything that you look for and what it means to be a Raider. If I'm Antonio Pierce and their general manager, Tom Telesco, I would be tanking this season to get Shadur Sanders if I'm the Las Vegas Raiders because you're not going to win too many games this year anyway. You're going to have a great defense, but you don't have a good quarterback. And you're not going to be able to win games only completing one pass after the first quarter. When you have limitations at QB, it just hinders the complete performance of your team. Because the quarterback position is the most important when it comes to impacting games and determining who ends up walking away with the wins and who ends up walking away with the L's. And a large reason why the Raiders weren't a postseason qualifier last year was because they sucked that quarterback. 
and you still suck this year. Nothing's going to change. So it makes all the sense in the world for the Raiders just to tank this year, get Shadur Sanders. You'll end up drafting him number one, number two overall, depending on where you're picking in the draft. And now you finally have the biggest problem that your franchise has dealt with for two three decades finally fixed because now you will have a true franchise quarterback somebody who can elevate your team and take your franchise to new heights the Raiders haven't been in the Super Bowl since I first came out the womb in 2002 that's damn near like what 22 years of irrelevancy if you have a great quarterback and a good head coach, it changes everything for your franchise. But when you only have a good head coach and a terrible quarterback, it's hard to go too far with that. Look at where Mike Tomlin's at right now with the Pittsburgh Steelers. He's peaked because he can't get quarterback right. And I don't know why some of you Raiders fans out there continue to believe that just because you won eight games last year, you're going to be able to do the same this year when your schedule is way difficult. The only wins that Antonio Pierce had were against backup quarterbacks on trash teams that had losing records and getting lucky Christmas Day against Patrick Mahomes. They need to tank for Shadur Sanders if they ever want to become a relevant team again. Because if not, you're going to continue to be a laughing stock.